Hey everyone, I'm Frank from the City of Games, and today we're doing the live Art of Cats Remote Edition playthrough. So please make sure that you've got the player sheet, you can find the link below and have it in front of you, or you could be using one of the digital online versions that you can find on Facebook or Board Game Geek. So for anyone who's wondering, the Art of Cats Remote Edition allows you to play the game with your friends and family or via videos without having to have a copy of the game in front of everyone. One person will need the game to run the session like I will in this video and everyone else just needs to have the player sheet. So, what's going on? The Art of Cats is an island that's full of all of these magical, fantastical creatures, which just happen to be cats, and unfortunately there's this evil warlord on his way there, called Vesh, and he intends to rip out the trees, dig out the mines, and take all of the resources from this island, and there's nothing that anyone can do to stop him. However, what we can do is we can get there before him, and we can rescue all of the cats before he arrives. So we're on a seven day cat cat rescue mission. We're going to play over seven rounds and each round you will see that a number of rows are going to be pulled out so there'll be four rows and each row is going to have up to three cat tiles and up to three cards. So this will be the standard layout. You will also see on the right hand side we're going to have a common treasure section. These are permanent, they don't change, they're always there. And a rare treasure section. This one is going to change and these will come and go throughout the game. You will see at the top of the screen up here we've got a round counter that tells you that we're on round one of seven, so we'll play through seven rounds or seven days. And we've also got the ready marker which is going to be the timer. Each round when we start you're going to have four minutes to make your decisions and get everything done. So let's go through the player sheet. I'm just gonna put this down here for now and we're gonna talk about how we select things in a short moment. The first thing you'll notice is along the top here there are some patterns with each of the different colored cats and objects within the game. You can either use different colored pens to represent the different things or if you don't have different colored pens you can use one pen and you can draw the patterns as such. So for example let's say that I was taking this cat and I wanted to put that onto my boat. What I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is draw the outline of that tile piece onto my boat. It's always good to make sure you've got the outline clearly defined. And then this is a green cat, so I'm going to put the spikes or the little triangles in this so that at the end of the game I can remember that this section is a green cat. When you draw a cat onto your boat, you can draw it any way you like. You can rotate them, you can flip them, however you wish. Obviously with this piece it's always going to be the same, but with other pieces that will change. The first piece you place can go absolutely anywhere on your boat, and then after that every other piece has to touch a previously placed piece. So let's say that I was getting another piece and I was going to put it onto my boat, it has to touch at least one side. It cannot touch diagonally. So for example, I I might decide that I'm going to put this one over here. As I say, if you've got different colored pens, then of course you can choose to use different colors as well. So in this example, maybe I was using green. I know this is a fairly straightforward thing, but I might just put it like this and then shade it in to show that it's a green cap. You're also going to find that you want to get at least three or more cats of the same colour touching for scoring. We'll come to that in just a second. The last thing you need to know about your boat is everything obviously has to fit within the outer edge and you're not allowed to have pieces that overlap. You will also notice there are five different treasure maps. There's the green with a G, B for blue, O for orange, P for purple and R for red. If you happen to draw a cat over a treasure map and it's the same color, so let's say for example I was drawing this green piece in here, this is going over the G. That means that I've matched those colors and I will get to take one of the four common treasures and draw it onto my boat. You can take any of them, they're unlimited and you can draw them any way you like, again assuming that they're going to touch something on your boat. So let's say that I took this corner piece over here, I would then just draw this one onto my boat, nice and simple just to dictate that I've got that there. There are five different colors, you can put any piece you like on any of these maps, but it has to be the right color to get the bonus. So let's go back to the player board. We've now drawn a few cats, so let's talk through scoring. 
The first thing you'll see is in the bottom left hand corner down here, there are five different colours, the blue, green, orange, purple and red families. You are going to score points for having three or more of that colour cat touching. So in this example we've got four green, uh, say four green cats touching, so we're going to score four equals eleven, so eleven points. You can have multiple families of the same colour, so if I had three more green cats over here that would score me another eight points. Obviously for a cat to count, it has to be touching the other cats of that same colour. So you're going to score points for your families. You're then going to score three points for any rare treasures that you've managed to put onto your boat, and then you're going to score any lesson cards. As we play through the game, we're going to get a number of cards that are going to have lessons on them, and these effectively give you objectives to complete. If you get one of those cards, all you're going to do is you're going to find it in the list in the lesson section, and you're going to cross it off. Let's say, for example, I had this one up here in the top right hand corner. If this card comes up, I'm going to cross it off, and this is going to say to me 10 points if you have no visible rats on your boat. All of these score at the end of the game, so right at the end of the game, if I need that criteria, I'm going to get those points. Again, be careful because some of them do say exactly something. For example, 10 points if you have exactly 15 cats on your boat. So that does mean you need 15 at the end of the game. So finally, you'll see there are rats. Rats are going to give you minus one point for each rat that is still visible on your boat at the end of the game. And then you're going to lose five points for each room you haven't filled. You will see that there are seven different rooms. You'll see there are different icons in the corners to help you see which ones they are. And there's also a big room which doesn't have icons. And you'll see that they're kind of gray and white, which will hopefully help you tell them apart. So obviously at the end of the seven rounds, whoever's got the most points is going to be the winner. I'm glad you made it in time. Good timing there, Fidelia. Thank you for joining us. So the final things you'll need to know about our player sheet is there is a note section. This is only used if you want to keep track of things in front of you. You can tick off a round to show that it's been done. You can write down the row that you've completed, whatever you feel more comfortable with to keep track of what you're doing. Finally, along the bottom, you'll find that there are five different specials. So let's just quickly go through that. Each round, you are going to choose one row, and you're going to take everything from that row. Obviously, these cards would be face up if we were starting. So if you took the top row, you would take these three cats, you would draw them onto your boat. You can draw them in any order. You could take the green, then the purple, then this purple, but you have to do all of them, and they have to follow the rules. Likewise, if you took this row, if this was a lesson, you would cross it off and place these two cats, and so on. The specials allow you to change the rules very slightly. So, the first special here says take one additional item from any other row. So, once you've chosen a row, you can then take one of the other nine items and then obviously add that to your sheet as well. Draw your next cat twice means that when you take a cat to draw on your boat, you can then draw a duplicate copy of the exact same cat at that moment. You always have to do these straight away. You can't draw a cat that you placed like five minutes ago because that would be crazy. You've got draw your next treasure twice, which works exactly the same way but for treasures. You've got take a column instead of a row. So this would allow you to take all four items from one column rather than three items from a row. And you can also take one item from each column instead of a row, which means that, for example, I might take this purple, this red, and this orange cat here. You can only use three of these in the game, and you can only use one per round. So please make sure that by round four you've started considering using them if you haven't used them earlier. And that's how the game plays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give everyone just a few seconds to make sure there's no questions in the chat, and then we're going to get started. These are going to be the starting tiles we use, and I'm just going to flip over these cards because I don't see the point in putting them away and getting them out because they were random. So everyone, if you're ready, we're going to start the first round in just a moment. Please do feel free to ask questions as we go. If you're feeling really brave, this is the challenge I'm giving you. If you've played before and you're super switched on, then why not try and do two sheets at the same time? That way you've got two minutes per round and the game is going to get much more challenging. I think that'll be a fun variant for a few of you to try out. Checking out the digital board post on Board Game Geek looks like a good alternative to marking up my board in paint. Yeah, there's definitely some good digital versions. There's two of them out there at the moment. They're both very different in how they work, but obviously they achieve the same thing. So try them both out and see which one you'd prefer. 
Okay, so I'm gonna flip over the cards and we're gonna talk through what everything does. The first card here is 12 points if both captain's rooms are full. So you'll see there's a little parrot symbol here and on your board you'll see over here there's a parrot symbol in the bottom left corner of this room and this room over here. So that card is 12 points if you manage to fit up the rooms on both sides. Um, using Space Llama, I'm not trying to break your brain, but I would love you to try it and to see how it turns out. I was tempted to do it myself, but I'm a little bit terrified to do that and run the stream. So the next card up, place your next cat or treasure anywhere on your boat. So this is a really interesting one because this one allows you to place the tile, not touching other tiles. And this can give you a really good bonus at the start because you obviously could put something over here and something over here and then expand from both of those locations. Next up down here, we have got Pick a colour, one point per cat of the chosen colour touching the edge of your boat. So at the end of the game you will choose a colour and every cat of that colour that's touching the edge of your boat will score you a point. And finally down here we've got take any rare treasure or two common treasure. So this would allow you to take this rare treasure or any combination of two common treasures. You take two of the same or two different and immediately place them on your boat. So I think we're good. I think everyone's got their questions, everyone knows what's going on. We're going to start the first round, so I, I'm not brave enough to do it, Tom. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. So, the four minutes of the first round are about to start. Good luck, everyone. Remember, choose a row, and then you're going to have to do all three things from that row, and you're going to have to put them onto your boat. I'm going to have a little think for a short while, because this is definitely going to be a bit of a challenge today. If you get questions as we go, feel free to ask. If you're watching the video later and you're stuck, then again, feel free to post a question and I'll be more than happy to help you out with that later. All right, I'm, I'm tempted to do the uh, play two boards. I'm not sure if it's a smart idea. It may well break me on camera, but we'll see how it goes. So remember, you can always use a special in the first round. There is nothing wrong with using specials early on in the game. I think that you'll find that that can really help set up a strategy. Perhaps you want to take this bottom row and choose this lesson from up here. And you can do that using a special. There's nothing wrong with it. I think that that early game special can definitely be a benefit. Okay, so maybe, maybe I might try a, a strange approach to the two two sheets at a time just because why not you know if I'm, if I'm getting you guys to do it then I might as well try to maybe because time is running out it turns out that four minutes is not very long Already regretting the decision. Already regretting the decision to do two. So we have got one minute and 40 seconds left, everybody. So we're halfway through this first round. Don't be afraid to um, use a special right now. It could be the right time if, if that's what you want to be doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I felt confident doing two sheets and I'm already regretting the decision quite quickly. I think that I'm going to give it one go, see what happens. If you're playing along on YouTube later, then try and play multiple times. Once you've finished, there's nothing to stop you coming back and trying again at another time. So we have got 50 seconds left Combined score. <laughs> I think maybe combined score, maybe you take them both and divide, add them together, divide by two, because, you know, that makes it a little bit more interesting.
30 seconds left, everyone. What about free player sheets? Wow, okay. Well, I don't even know if I have enough player sheets with me to be doing three in one go. I'm terrified about trying to do two, but we'll see what happens. With 15 seconds left in this first round, I'm, I'm excited to see what everyone's got. I got way too used to having unlimited time. Yeah, the time on the stream definitely adds some pressure. Again, if you are watching later, feel free to pause it and give yourself a bit more extra if you like. But our time is up, round one is over, and we're quickly gonna move on to round two. Again, we use the timers on the stream just because it obviously helps to keep things moving. It helps to make sure that everyone has an equal amount of opportunity and gives you an idea. If you haven't, um, like play before then don't be afraid to pause don't be afraid to kind of mute it and see what's happening i'm going to put out the next letter fit and set of things so we've got another treasure card which would allow us to take a rare treasure if there are any and then the common treasures we've got a two points per rare treasure on your boat lesson card we've got another treasure card over here and then we've got 10 points if you have exactly 15 cats on your boat so I'm gonna get the cats out and then we're gonna get started. Try two this round and I'm already sweating way too much. Not confident I can keep it up through round two. Tell me about it. I, I basically just rushed my first one to give me enough time to do the second one and then realized that I wanted to basically change what I did on my first one. So then my second one was a change and then I thought I can't just basically do the same thing twice. So then I did a third one, which is a slight um, restart of making sure that both of my sheets don't end up the same. All this time finding and rotating and flipping pieces on my Photoshop version takes a while. Oh yes, if you're using the Photoshop and you've got all the tiles there, it's certainly not gonna help when you're playing for a more real-time based game. So, hopefully, Everyone's got the pieces ready. Everyone knows what's going on. And we are gonna start our next round. So your four minutes for round two are about to begin. Good job, everybody. Yes, I'm gonna turn this one around because that's upside down. So again, choose a row. Take all three things from that row. See what you wanna do. Ah. I definitely, definitely am not enjoying the idea of doing two. <laughs> In this second round, you probably wanna start considering using a special if you've not already used one. You wanna make sure that at some point you have used at least one, probably in the first three rounds. You don't have to, but don't leave them for too long. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up having a bit of a nightmare towards the end. Speaking of nightmares, I am already having a nightmare, so we will see what happens with this. I'm pretty sure the pieces on my boat don't represent what I drew last round, but that might be because I'm doing two different ones. Who knows? Two minutes and 50 seconds, everybody. We're a good way through this second round, so keep going. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for something a little bit more crazy, I think. Not sure if this is a good idea. We will see. Again, it's always good to explore. If you find yourself doing the same thing lots and lots of times when you play the game, don't be afraid just to go for something completely different. Try and do something just outside of your norm. See what's gonna happen. We've got two minutes left. And I can, I can feel the pressure. I can feel it coming through. Mainly because I feel like I've already made a mistake. Uh, we have got one and a half minutes left, guys. And it turns out two boats at a time is not an easy way to play this game.
Right, one minute everybody. We're coming up to the end of the second round. I am, oh my goodness, I am feeling absolutely stressed out of my mind. When I said, let's try playing with two player sheets to those who have played before, I think I made a terrible, terrible decision. If you are here for the first time, then you want to be aiming for 30 points. So like 30 to 40 points is a great first time score. If you kind of get 40 plus and it's your first game, then you're doing fantastically. For those who have been here before and played a few times, then 60 points or 70 points is kind of really, really good. Last week, I think someone hit 80 for the first time, but normally a couple of people might hit 70s. A lot of people will hit 50s and 60s if they've played a few times, but for your first game, then 30 to 40 points. If this is your first game doing two sheets, then 10 points I think is gonna be a good score. I don't think you should be worrying about doing anything other than surviving and getting through this. We have got five seconds left in this second round. As soon as the time is up, I'm gonna rip these pieces up and we're gonna move straight on to round three. So everybody, hopefully you've got that all sorted. I'm taking the cards away. You really wanna now have a plan. You wanna be knowing what you're trying to achieve. You wanna be getting ready for this third round. Again, don't be afraid of using specials. They are always gonna be there to help you as you play through in these early rounds. We have got another treasure card over here. We have got four points per family of four or more cats. Another treasure card. So we're getting a lot of treasure cards early on, which is great for now, but terrible towards the end of the game. And then 10 points if you have exactly five visible rats on your boat. So if you don't think you're gonna cover all of the rats, this could be a really good little card just to help you out towards that last little objective. So as soon as these cats are out, I'm gonna start us off. I'm gonna try and keep them somewhat rotated, but I don't wanna to spend too much time um, putting them out. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Hopefully, everyone's got a good strategy and a plan. If you've played before, then try and beat your last score. That is the best you can do. For people who are playing with their partners, their families and their kids, I know a lot of people do that, then please, please, please make sure you beat everyone else. That's all that matters. Just beat the people in the room. Don't worry about us on the stream. Just beat the people who are with you. Right. We are starting up round three and we are going to get going. So your four minutes are beginning and you don't have any rare treasures. So if you take these treasure cards this time, you're only gonna get two common treasures. Good luck, everyone. We're coming up to that halfway point. You definitely now wanna have some good plans going on in front of you. I certainly have a good idea for this round. I'm feeling a bit more confident with this one. This has worked out quite well for what I was thinking for one of my players. Who knows about the second one? That one at the moment is just living a life of being ignored and not worrying about it. Survive round two, but didn't start placing until two minutes left from switching back and forth between them to compare. I'll aim for those 10 points. I'm with you, Swift Illusion. 10 points is the way to go for those of us playing with those double boards. It's even worse when you take the specials when you're playing with two because suddenly you realize that you're just spending all this time doing extra stuff. Okay, so we are at two minutes and 40 seconds. Again, I wanna keep iterating. Remember your specials. You can only use one per round. You've got three that you can use across the entirety of the game. So you do wanna make sure that you are playing those as and when you can. Oh my goodness, what is my plan here, everybody? I kinda know what I wanna do, but just doesn't feel good right now. We've got two minutes. Ah, okay. <laughs> this, oh yes, this was a terrible, terrible plan. 
I don't know why you wrote me into this, Tom. I wanted everyone else to do it. I wanted everyone else to suffer. And that way I could win. You see, when I'm doing this on camera, it's very hard for me to stay ahead and to make sure that I'm doing well. And if everyone else is doing two, that gives me an advantage, but you've taken it away from me this week. Oh. We've got one minute and 30 seconds left. Wow, I think it's going okay. It's, it's not great. I wish we were in round two right now. If we were in round two, this would feel a lot better. I think, <laughs> I don't feel like I've done three rounds of stuff, but we've got one minute left and hopefully everyone is doing well. If you're playing with one sheet, that's absolutely fine. That is the purpose of this game. The two sheet idea is really just to give people who have played lots of times a little way to push themselves. The timer is always difficult because not everyone needs four minutes. Some people want longer, but if you find that four minutes is far too long, then doing two player sheets is gonna give you a completely different experience. I, I know my experience is gonna be terrible. <laughs> Last week, I think I got 76 points. This week, I'm not sure if my two boards combined are gonna hit 76. But we'll see, I mean, that's my goal. Can two player sheets beat what I got last week with one? Four minutes of Photoshop is pushing you. Yeah, completely, I can imagine that's hard too. 10 seconds left, everybody. As soon as we get down to the zero, I'm gonna jump us onto the next round. We're all seasoned veterans now. Seasoned veterans, is that a thing? I don't know. Round three is up. Round four is gonna begin as soon as I've got these pieces out. So. How's everyone feeling? How many people are doing two sheets and feeling like it was a confident, terrible idea? How many people are feeling like they're doing well? Does anyone who's done two sheets feel like they're actually gonna be winning? I don't know, let's see. Okay, so we've got another treasure card. One point per two cats touching the edge of the boat. So that's a really nice little card. Another treasure, wow, okay and one point per lesson card in front of you. So we really, really have gotten a lot of these treasure cards out early, which does scare me for the end of the game. But we'll see what happens. We'll get these last few caps out. There's a rare treasure coming out over here. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's all but maybe one of the treasures. I don't know, I, I haven't been counting completely, but it's definitely a lot of them. Every time I start thinking of the special abilities, I can feel my brain physically melting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keeping track of the special abilities across two players as well and remembering which ones you've done and which ones you haven't is really not very fun. Um, I was going to try one drawn sheet, one digital sheet but the digital one got stuck on me just as well. Some of those rounds have been difficult long. I'm really sorry if the digital version didn't work well for you. I know that they're still developing and working on them, so hopefully they will continue to improve over time. We've got everything out we need for round four, so this is gonna mean that our four minutes have begun, and this brings us up to the halfway point. So good luck, everybody. You definitely wanna make sure that you've used at least one special by the end of this round. I would suggest you don't have to, but it feels like that's where you want to be right now. Where I don't want to be is playing the cards that I've got here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. If we take that column with two treasure cards, can we get two of that same shape rare treasure? You can indeed, Forest Ninja. So if there's a rare treasure, you can take it multiple times if you do have multiple cards. So that's absolutely fine. We're gonna take... Oh my God, I've started talking to myself out loud now, which isn't great when you're recording it. So if you just hear me mumbling, that's because I'm starting to slowly break and part of me is beginning to wonder what on earth I decided to do this for. <laughs> okay, what was it I just did? Uh. 
Okay, we've got two and a half minutes. Oh, it's just... Oh, what have I done? No! No! Oh my goodness, no. Oh, that is not going to be undoable either because I've coloured that fully. Oh no. Well, it's going well, guys. <laughs> um, we... <laughs> Okay, let's focus on this other person. Let's see what they're doing. Um, oh my goodness. That was not a sign of a good decision, everybody. <laughs> We've got less than two minutes. One minute and 50 seconds. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I can deal with this. <laughs> I don't know if I can deal with this. One minute thirty. I feel like I've used too many specials and that is not great. We've got one minute ten seconds and I've still not chosen what I'm doing with my other character yet. Ah, uh, okay, when in doubt, just panic. We've got one minute, when in doubt, just panic. Just make sure that you draw something on your boat because otherwise it's gonna be awful. The worst thing you can do is absolutely nothing. I think I might be wrong. We've got 40 seconds less left. I can't even speak anymore for blah, 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 blah. 30 seconds, everybody. I regret my decisions. I think that I've done this right. I think that's okay. 20 seconds and it's fine. Nothing is going wrong at all. Oh my goodness. Um, this is really entertaining to listen to. It's making me panic less, actually. I... Oh, uh, I've, I've got my reputation, you know, eight seconds left. I am confident that this is going to be the worst I've ever done twice, which is terrible news. That's the end of the fourth round, everybody. We are moving on to round five. We are, hopefully everyone's doing better than me. Hopefully everyone is keeping up. Hopefully everyone is having a good time and feeling confident. I know in previous weeks, my scores have been okay. I've been very happy with them. People have generally been quite competitive with them. This week, you really do have a good chance. Oh my goodness, I think that's the first Oshax card we've seen. Wow, okay, this is gonna be really interesting. That's possibly the last of the treasure cards. So, for anyone who's not been here before, the Oshax. When the Oshax card comes out, instead we replace it with one of the random um, Oshax tiles. And this is a cat which effectively can be any color. So with this one, when you draw it on your boat, choose what color it's gonna be. You don't have to remember that it was an Oshax. It's effectively a wild cat that when you place it, you choose the color. This lesson here, two points per visible rat on your boat. And this one here, 12 points if there are no empty spaces around the edge of your boat at the end of the game. So again, both of these are going to be good depending on your situation. We're going to get some cat tiles out and then we're going to start this fifth round and oh, we're over halfway. If you've not used any specials yet, you need to use one this round. There is a rare treasure that could be helpful. You don't have to use them, of course, but you only lose out. You can only use one per round. So if you haven't used it by the end of this round, then you're not going to be able to do it. I have four pairs, they need to make kittens so I can have families. <laughs> I had two sets of two, which were great, and then I forgot that I hadn't joined them and put something in between them. So that was exactly the perfect play for me. 
Oh my god, how do I only have one lesson by round five? Lesson cards are interesting. If you have a lot of lesson cards, then you're not necessarily going to win, but if you don't have enough, you're probably also not going to win. Okay, so that's a duplicate, so I'm just going to put that back in the box because it doesn't make any difference at all. I'm not sure if I keep this up, I'll even be able to count to ten at the end for scoring. Well, good luck everyone, because this is all of the tiles for our fifth round, so I'm going to start the timer, and your four minutes for this round are about to begin. Okay. Considering how bad my boat is looking, wraps visible seems like a positive right now. Maybe that's what I should be focusing on. <sighs> hmm. This is an interesting one. So, how about we try... Okay, I've got a plan. I feel like this could work. Not sure if it's gonna be quick, but it feels like an option. And options right now are really what I need. <laughs> really, really what I need. Okay. Um, we are at three minutes. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. This round's gone really well for one of my characters. Not both, but one, which obviously is a plus. It's a good starting point. We are at two and a half minutes. But, oh my goodness though. Oh, I say that, but then suddenly it all falls apart again. Because I just remembered there's only two rounds left. Ah! Oh my goodness. Okay. This is the round. I think this is the round that's going to make it or break it for a lot of us. Two minutes and 15 seconds left. Right now, you need to be in, in a magical place. You really need to be doing well. I can assure you, I'm not in that magical place. I <laughs> am as far away from magical places as possible. We've got one minute and 50 seconds. Oh, I... Oh, there's some difficult decisions. I just, I can't do it. One minute, 20 seconds, and I've still not decided what I'm taking with this character. Oh my goodness, come on, come on, something, come to me. What is a good plan? What is a good plan? I think there is no such thing as a good plan, so let's just randomly draw stuff on the boat. Seems like a terrible idea. Um, let's go for that, let's go for that. That's what we've got to do. We have to go for that. We've got one minute left. Oh my god, why am I randomly drawing stuff on the boat? Um, 50 seconds, 50 seconds everybody. There is no need to be panicking. Um, everything is fine. There is absolutely no need to be panicking. But <laughs> 30 seconds. Um, um, am I taking that? Am I doing that? Oh, uh, I have to. 20 seconds left. <laughs> okay, everyone, 22 seconds left. That seems to be my magical point where it all comes together. Um, there's a lot I need to do in the next two rounds. A lot that I need to do. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, everyone's doing well because we've got five seconds left and we're going to jump straight into the next round. This is definitely pushing me a lot more than I was expecting it to. So our time is up. We're going to move into round six. Right now I can feel the pressure coming to everybody. I feel like there is <laughs> there's no need to panic, says the guy who's panicking. Definitely not panicking. Absolutely not. This is completely under control because I set myself a realistic goal of 10 points. I have a feeling we're about to see a lot of Oshak's cards. I need a miracle. Well, 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So take an Oshak. So we will again have an Oshak. So anyone who doesn't remember, this is a wild colored cat. It can be absolutely any color you like when you draw it on the board, but I recommend one of the five colors from the game. This one here is 10 points if you have, I made myself laugh there, that was terrible, I apologize. Um, 10 points if you have no visible rats on your boat and 15 points if the dining room is empty. So for anyone who is keeping ahead of things, I'm just gonna give this a good bit of a shake up because we definitely need a bit of a miracle and we will see what is gonna come out from all of this. We are definitely, definitely hoping for some great cats. We are hoping for some great shapes. I think that we're probably done for treasures, so this rare treasure is not gonna be accessible this game. Maybe one more will come out if we're lucky, but who knows? I can see that a lot of people are feeling as confident as I am right now, which is obviously a Good thing, because I'm not feeling confident at all with what's going on. I can tell because I literally just dropped half of the pieces back onto the floor. Okay, so here we go. We're coming up to the start of round six. As soon as this piece comes out, I hope you guys are ready because we are gonna kick off straight away. We're gonna get going. Your four minutes in round six has begun. Make sure that you use a special you can only use two spe three specials in the game. You've got two rounds left. You can use one per round. If you've not already used one, you are missing out. Okay, speaking of missing out, I need to really get this right. I have to get this right. <sighs> There's a lot of pressure riding on me right now. Right, well that character's screwed. Let's try with the other character. <laughs> we'll, we'll try with the one that's got a chance and then we'll go back to the one that's um, not doing great. Three minutes already, oh my God, okay. Um, whew. And just that knowing that there's gonna be no more treasures coming out is, oh, it's kidding me. I have to do this. I have to do this. This is my only good option now that I can tell. Which basically means taking a piece and getting on with it because time is running out everyone. Two minutes and 45 seconds. And I just, I need something. A miracle is a word that I don't like to use very often when playing games, but Oh my goodness, maybe that's the miracle I needed. Oh my goodness, maybe that is the miracle I needed. Oh my goodness, yes. Specials coming to the rescue every single time. We have got two minutes left, everybody. Two minutes, we are halfway through the sixth round. There is just one more round after this. You need to make sure that you are feeling confident, that you know exactly what you're trying to achieve and doing it. Um, unlike me, who's clearly not knowing what they're doing or doing it. Um, oh my goodness. I just, I think I've bitten off too much. Oh, I don't even know if that was the right thing to do. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. We've got one minute left. One minute left and, oh. Fifty seconds, everybody. I hope that you are in a much better shape than I am because, oh my goodness, time is running out. And we are... Uh, Thirty seconds, ah!
I don't even know. 20 seconds, everybody. 20 seconds. I... Uh, I've got 10 common treasures on my boat and none of them are giving me points. Why have I done that? 10 seconds left. Oh my goodness. Um, I need a miracle next round, an absolute miracle next round. And I'm not sure, time is up. Wow, okay, so time is up. I am totally, totally paying attention to everything. So these cards are coming off. We're going into this last round, everybody, and I hope that you are feeling better. I need a special right now that says, take a second row and skip the next round. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people who are regretting their two um, two cards. Sorry, do two sheets. Oh, there was one more treasure. I was not expecting that. And one point big. Uh, the, 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 don't. No, I'm not saying anything. That is not perfect at all. So place... <laughs> Yes! Place your next cat or treasure anywhere on your boat. This, oh my god, that is amazing. This allows you to place a piece, calm, calm down. <laughs> this allows you to place a piece anywhere on your boat. It doesn't have to be touching. This is one point per lonely cat on your boat. So a lonely cat is a cat that's not touching any other cats of the same color. Oh my goodness, I should calm down. Treasure card, just as per normal. And then the uh, one point per common treasure on your boat. So if you happen, if you happen to have a lot of common treasures on your boat, this could be a useful card for you. Um, just saying, you know, there's just saying that could be useful for some people out there. So this last round is gonna start in a minute. Oh, I do apologize. We are in the last round. So make sure, get your composure back, Frank. Get your composure back. This is not a competition. This is about having fun, playing a pleasant game with friends all over the internet, around the world. It's nothing to do with winning. So as soon as these last cat titles come out, we are going to get started. And this will be the last round. So there is a rare treasure for anyone who wants a rare treasure. You will be able to take it with that card. Please keep in mind, as soon as the time is up, we are gonna go to scoring. I will walk you through how the scoring works and then I'd love to see your scores in the chat, in the comments on YouTube and so on. <coughs> Excuse me, so that is all of our tiles. Our time has begun, so good luck everyone. You have got four minutes in this last round and I hope that it works out for all of us. I don't know if that could have gone any better for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's just been the most perfect magical moment of my life. I just know straight away what I'm doing with this character. This character. Oh no, I missed the square. Oh no. Oh no. Um, <laughs> well. <laughs> Maybe it didn't go so well. We've got three minutes left. <laughs> three minutes left, everybody, in this last round. Make sure if you haven't used all your specials that you do make sure that you've used them by the, or one of them this round. You're allowed to use one per round as a maximum. So this is your last chance. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Two and a half minutes, everybody. I just don't know if I can do that with this character. I think this character is, is gone. Oh, I really want them to get it. Two minutes left. Laughing at me is slowing you down. Don't laugh at me. Focus on your own game, everybody. Remember, every rat you've not covered is gonna lose you a point. Every room you haven't filled is gonna lose you five points. We have got two minutes left. And, oh my goodness. Um, oh, there's two things I need to do. And I just don't know if I can do them. Hmm. 
One minute, 40 seconds. Oh, it's just, it's all gone so horribly wrong with this character. I just don't know. Cool, thank you so much for following Falco, I'm um, J5. I really appreciate that. We do this every Friday, so you're welcome to come back and join in. One minute left and I've not even selected the row I'm doing. Why am I talking? Um, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, one minute left. This is the pressure, 50 seconds, and I've still not chosen my row. I feel like, oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna have to go for it, 40 seconds. There, there's no good option. There is nothing I can do that's gonna work for this character. I think that I'm going for this. I, 30 seconds. <laughs> nope. 20 seconds, everybody. I hope that you are just about done because time is running out. You've got 10 seconds. Time is up. Put your pens down, everybody. Your time is up. The pieces have gone. We are done. We are going straight to scoring. And wow, I literally saw my move in the last few seconds. I really hope that people have done well. So let's score this up. The first one, I'm going to do this on the um, screen so everyone can count along with me. If you're not familiar with scoring, this is how it works. So, first thing, blue families. Three or more blue cats which are touching. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That is gonna score me 20 points. Green families, I've got one, two, three, four green cats. That's gonna score me 11 points. Orange families, I don't have any orange cats touching, so I have no families and that's zero points. Purple cats, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that's gonna score me 15 points. And red families, I've got two red cats, which don't count as a family because you need three or more. So that's gonna be zero points. Excuse me, then rare treasures are gonna be three points. So that's gonna give me three points. And I've only got one of them. We've got four points per family of four or more cats on your boat. So I have got more than four purples, more than four greens and more than four blues. So that is gonna score me 12 points and 10 points if you've got no visible rats on your boat. I have got no visible rats. So that's gonna score me a total of 22 points. You lose one point for every rat that you've got visible. I don't have any visible, so zero points. And then I have got two rooms which are visible. You lose five points per visible room. So that is gonna lose me 10 points. So for my first player, I got 20, 31, 46, 49, 69, 71, 61 points. So that's how you score up. Then I'm gonna go through my second player. I can see, please do share your scores, everybody. I can see someone's got 44. That's a really good score. Uh, 68, great. If you're playing one board, then that's fantastic. Well done with that. 32 is a great score. Anything that's 30 or more is absolutely fine. Okay, so blue families, zero points for blue. Green families, I've got eight points for that. Orange families, one, two, three, four. That's gonna be 11 points. Purple families, zero. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I've gone crazy about treasures and forgot about families. Red cats, none of this is connected. Oh my goodness. Um, two, so that is going to be... Uh, Six points over there. Four points per family of four or more. I have got one family of four or more, so that's gonna be four points. I've got 12 points if the captain's rooms are full, which they are, so that's gonna be another 12. 12 points if there are no empty spaces around the edge of their boat, there are no empty spaces. One point per common treasure, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 points. So that's gonna be a total of 40 points. I've got no rats, so that's gonna be zero, and one room, sorry, two rooms that I haven't filled, so that's gonna be minus 10. So that's gonna be eight, 19, 25, 
65 and 55. So my two scores come out at 55 and 61, which I'm fairly happy with considering I was playing two boards. So congratulations to everyone. What have we seen in there? 71 down from my high score of 82, but my kiddo killed us with 101 points, wow! Please do feel free to share that on Facebook or Twitter. That's a fantastic score, congratulations. That's the highest I've seen, so well done to your kiddo, fantastic. Played one sheet, um, 60 points. I did it without accidentally cheating, which is a good bonus over last week. Absolutely. 59, 63 for your wife. Congratulations to your wife. You should be ashamed for letting her beat you. I mean, I, I can't believe that you didn't have the decency to at least get another four points. Um, amazing for two sheets. <laughs> I'm um, pretty, pretty happy with how that went for me. Uh, Tom got 50 and 59. So what I'll do, Tom, for your benefit is I'll say that my 61 beat your 59 and my 55 beat your 50. So I think I won 2-0 against you this time around. 49 points. I did three Lonely Cats in the last round to grab eight points for Lonely Cats. Cool. Congratulations. So for anyone who's watching on YouTube, thank you so much for joining in. Please do share your comments and your scores in the chat below and join us on Twitch every Friday where you can come along and play live and see us do some crazy things and thank you guys for watching.